It's time to go to Mexico. We're going with the escapers group. I'm so excited. And we have about 52, I think 55 rigs that are going. We're all caravanning down to San Felipe from El Centro. So it's the first time I've actually gone to Mexico in my RV or in any car for that matter. I usually just fly in somewhere. So this is gonna be a whole new experience. I have to go do a few errands, get everything gassed up, filled up, ready to go so that we have full tanks. All the other tanks are empty uh, by the time we go to Mexico. Lily, you ready? Do you want to go to Mexico? Raise your hand if you're ready. You want to go to Mexico? Oh, she's ready. <laughs> Aww. It's time to get up. We're going to Mexico today. You ready to have some margaritas on the beach? No, no margaritas for you. Let's make the bed. So I have all my paperwork together. I did a whole video on that and what you need to get in. So make sure you check out that video as well so that you can find out what you need to go into Mexico. There are several requirements, especially if you're gonna stay longer than seven days. I'm gonna film as much as I possibly can without getting any of the border guards like upset or whatever. So I'll, I'll shut off the camera as we get to the border. But other than that, I'll be filming all along the way and um, you get to see what we're doing today and how we get across the border. Anybody who's one through ten, come on up. All right, we're just waiting for JP to call our number, and I am number 23. Number if you can see, we have to put these numbers over here, and then we have our two-way radios so that we can communicate. All right, we're all lining up, look. Morning, Marnie. You ready for Mexico? Girl, I've been ready for like a year. <laughs> Ever since you left the last time? Ever since we left the last time. Oh, nice. All right, we're all lined up. We're about a mile from the border right now. You can see everybody in my rear view mirror. Just confirm everybody takes the car exit, not the commercial truck. Hey, we're coming up to the border now. We can't film once we get to the border. All right, lane. Get back. This is it. The last U.S. exit before we cross the border. So they were actually really great. They got us through very, very quickly at the border. They had us all pull up and stop in a single file line, uh, different lines, but um, behind each other. And then we all went into the office so that we could get our FMMs stamped and our passports looked at so that we could get through the border. And now we're all trying to get back into a single file line in order of our numbers out on the street. So you might've seen a police officer just now and that is so they can... I'm just going to back up to make sure there's enough room for her. Uh, where are we going? I think we're just waiting for the others. Oh. 23, there's room for you to follow. So once we get everybody lined back up, we will uh, have the actual police escort us in. So excited to see that. So I put all my paperwork inside this little binder. So I can keep everything together but um, here's my passport and my FMN and this is just something that they had to stamp it's just like your travel visa and it just says when I'm coming in and when I'm leaving and they just actually stamp that and check your passport put it in the computer here we have the border wall all right I'm just waiting for everybody to get back in line so we can keep heading to San Felipe our first motorcycle cop that's helping us direct traffic. 
All right, so one of our escaper friends, for some reason, the guards actually told them that they needed to just go through without getting their FMM stamped. So um, because I have a smaller vehicle, I was asked to go ahead and bring them back to the border, which is right over here, and have them get their FMMs stamped and check in. Just waiting here for them, and then we will head back and get in line. Mexicali and uh, going through this beautiful countryside here. The roads have been pretty nice. Um, only a few little potholes that I've seen and uh, it hasn't been bad at all. So we're coming up to a military security checkpoint. We're about 20 kilometers I think uh, north of San Felipe and they are going to potentially board the vehicle and do one last security check before we actually get to the resort. But it always comes back round When the only way is down The only way is down Well that was the shortest military check I've ever had. <laughs> Not that I've had a military check before, but... Okay, that was kind of crazy. I thought they would come in, but they didn't come in. Anyways, I think we're gonna pull over up here so we can stretch our legs and use the bathroom. We have made it to San Felipe. We have the police escort helping us through here. And look at all these beautiful purple flowers. And we have our blinkers on because we're going slow through town. We're slowly rolling through stop signs, but don't put your rig in danger. <laughs> so they're saying we're slowly rolling through stop signs because of the police escort, but not to put ourselves in danger. Some beautiful ocean up there. Look at this sweet spot. It's right on the beach. <laughs> Backed in. This is gonna be amazing. So this is our view. Look at that. OMG. It's beautiful out here. And the rig is just right here. Check this out guys. Oh my god. This is out my back door of my van. Talk about van life in it up. Woohoo! about eight hours to get here from the beginning of the morning until we finally made it and got settled in. It actually wasn't eight hours of driving, it was just getting everybody in line and then getting through the border and it was actually a really great experience and uh, I'm not sure if I would do this on my own like as a solo woman. I would definitely go with other people. I would always just want to have that safety net whenever I'm in Mexico just to have somebody else in case something happens. But anyways, I'm just gonna lay here and look out at the ocean. It's so beautiful out here. Thank 
exhausted. Like, I can barely keep my eyes open right now. So in the video that you're seeing on your screen right now, it's all about van life. All right, guys, I'll see you in the next video.